Hi everyone. A lot of the time we see documents from things like the 1600s of the, the science and the things that were being done then. And that's all we have. We have documents, things that were written down. It's really rare when things are that old that we still have really interesting good objects that we can hold and look at and feel. But today we will. So first I want to show you a document and then I want to show you a really cool object. Well, well I'm not going to do it. Keith's going to do it of course. Let's go talk to him. All right, Keith, we're going back to the early days of the Royal Society here, and in this time, they were really preoccupied with ships and trade and things like that, weren't they? They were indeed. Part of the, the reason that they thought science was important was because they could apply it in very practical ways, and that would add to the commonwealth of the nation. So they could make money? They could make money. You know what? Science hasn't changed that much. No, <laughs> it's true. Well, William Petty was probably best known as an Irish uh, political economist, but he got very, very interested in ship design in the early 1660s. And he began to do something rather unusual, which was to produce vessels which weren't single keeled. Okay, so normally we think of a ship as just having a hull and a keel. Exactly, yep. You're talking what, about catamarans here? Catamarans, yes, double bottom boats, as, as they would have termed it. Uh, and here we have a, a picture of one of the vessels that Petty designed and built. I tell you what, with all due respect to Petty, if you're making a double-bottomed boat or a catamaran and you're going to do a picture of it, why would you show it from side on? I know, it's not, not the best, is it? I tell you what, I'm going to do something a bit crazy, Keith. Normally I ask you to read the old mm. writing, but I'm going to give this a try. So it says, The two bodies are made long and slender because they are apt to move swifter on the water than such that are short and bluff? Yeah. So basically he's saying... Two short, slender hulls are better than one big, fat one. Exactly right. So uh, a catamaran would be faster on the water uh, and it would have a, a shallower draft. Now, he actually built these things. He, he built um, uh, uh, full-sized versions of these catamarans to, to, to trial them at sea. And he would race these vessels against other ships just to see how they performed. He um, raced between Dublin and Holyhead against packet boats. He raced against Charles II's yacht at one point. And uh, it was indeed a very fast and, and efficient vessel. Petty had slightly bad luck. They, they tended to keep sinking on him. Uh, which <laughs> well, is, it's no good being quick if your boat uh, keeps yeah, sinking. It's, it's, it's nothing to do with the design. One of them very famously sank in the Bay of Biscay uh, during a storm. And of course, contemporaries immediately said this was because of poor design. But um, over a dozen other vessels sank in the same storm of conventional design. So it wasn't necessarily Petty's fault. It was just a bad storm and, and bad luck. An object. What have we got? Well, we have a model of Petty's double bottom boat. It's someone called Samuel Warledge, who, who we don't know too much about, but he was based in Portsmouth, uh, sent this to the Royal Society in the 1680s as a, a representative of, of one of William Petty's boats. We presume he must have seen it in Portsmouth. So he's just like some boat spotter or some boat uh, nerd who yeah, exactly. made his own copy. Exactly right. But in a way it tells you it was such an unusual thing that someone would bother to make a, a model of it. And you can see quite clearly there the two keels. There's a very famous story about Charles II, who's the King of England at the time, where he um, says about the Royal Society that all scientists do is want to weigh air. So he's making fun of, of the Royal Society. But uh, it's on the, the back of a, a rather longer conversation about William Petty's boats. So, so Charles II basically made fun of this design. Having a model is a great thing. You can see it, it's very, very old. The gilded decoration is, is just uh, almost barely there. The rigging has all gone, of course. It was a single-masted uh, vessel uh, with a square sail. But um, fantastic just to have the actual thing in your hand. Can I hold it? You can hold it, nice and lightly. OK. Oh, it's it's... I mean, I thought it would be light because it's made of wood, but it's much lighter than I expected. I wonder what would happen if we put this like in a bathtub or something and gave it a little... No? Maybe not. All right, we'll put it away. We'll keep it safe. <laughs> it's lasted this long. If it survives me holding it, it can survive anything. By the way, everyone, just so you know, this, you know, this looks like a really sort of posh thing that has been made here, like a scientific experiment. But on the back... It's a postcard. He's just used a postcard. He's, He's literally doing yeah. science on the back of a postcard. Absolutely right, yeah. 